So good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Michael, Michael Colin. I work at Breast Business School. I do work at the International Promotion, promoting Breast Business School all over the world. So let me share my screen. Uh, Okay, I guess you can see my uh, my screen now. So like I was saying, I work at the International Promotion, Promoting Breast Business School all over the world. Um, my presentation will be kind of short. So if you have questions at the end, feel free to ask me. Um, I just would like to start with the mission. Um, Breast Business School design and deliver relevant and effective academic degree programs to prepare the students to be responsible managers and entrepreneur in a global environment. Uh, complemented by applied research activities to create economic and social value for its regional stakeholder. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of missions which are pretty important to us. Uh, provide our stakeholder with an institution of higher education and management. We do also want to develop innovative, innovative practices of digital education and teaching with transposable to a company and so on. Okay, so where are we located first? Um, we are located in a city called Brest in France. So we are located on the northwestern part of France uh, by the ocean. As you can see, this is the view we have from Brest. Uh, it's the Atlantic Ocean. We are located about 500 kilometers away from uh, Paris, 400 kilometers from London, and about 400 kilometers from Dublin in Ireland, okay? So we pretty much the, the city in France, the most westernly, most westernly located because after Brest, there's nothing else but the ocean and then America, okay? The city of Brest has a population of a quarter million uh, people, 250,000 people live in Brest. Uh, and it's what we call a college town. I mean, there's a lot of students studying in Brest, but 35,000 students study in Brest. Uh, we do have uh, eight uh, major institutions in Brest, Brest Business School, of course. We do have five uh, School of Engineering and one uh, public university, with, which makes uh, 30,000 students. Uh, a little bit of history of Brest Business School. Uh, Brest Business School is a private uh, business school. Like most business school in France, we are private. We were created in 1962, so we will be celebrating our 60th birthday next year. So you're more than welcome to join our birthday. We also will be celebrating another event uh, this year. Uh, we, uh, Breast Business School was awarded uh, the prestigious uh, accreditation AACSB. AACSB is an American accreditation given to the top 6% business school in the world. So we also became the 25th business school in France to obtain this uh, prestigious AACSB accreditation. As you can see, uh, we started the whole process of ACSB accreditation in 2006. So it took us about 15 years to get accredited by the States of America. We also uh, fully accredited by the Ministry of Higher Education and research and innovation of France. So 38 business schools in the country of France are fully accredited uh, by the government, which means the degree you will get from Brest Business School will be recognized anywhere in the world. Uh, we also were one of the first uh, business school in the country to uh, create what we call the apprenticeship, apprenticeship track in 1996. The apprenticeship track, it's like a super internship students sign up a um, working contract with a local company and they study at the same time. During the entire uh, program, they study and work at the same time, okay? I will explain to you later a little bit more about this apprenticeship contract, okay? So this is uh, the, this slide, uh, sum up all the accreditation we have. Like I was saying, the ACSB accreditation. We also Erasmus accredited. We accredited by the Ministry of Higher Education on the top left. And we also part of 
conférence des grandes écoles. Conférence des grandes écoles is the top 38 business school in the country. Uh, just to let you know, there are over 400 business schools in the country and only 38, the top 38, is Conférence des Grandes Écoles, okay? We do emphasize our teaching in uh, giving uh, the opportunity for students to have international exposure. So during our program, students are, have the possibility to go abroad through a regular exchange program, Erasmus program, which is like a one semester exchange program in a mostly European country. We also give the opportunity for students to uh, go for a double degree, which means they go abroad at, a, at the final year of the degree, the master two level or um, bachelor three level, they go for the entire year to a partner university and they get the degree from a partner university and our degree. It's what we call a double degree uh, opportunity. We do have a, a, a list of 65 partners, uh, international partners all over the world. The European partners are through the Erasmus scheme and we do have a, also a international partner outside Europe. In Australia, for example, we do have a couple of partners in North America, in Canada. We are on the process of signing up some partnership in the uh, United States. Since we were awarded this American accreditation, we're hoping to be able to sign up more uh, partnership with American University. We have some signed partnership with North, South America and Africa. Uh, during their uh, program, the students also required to have a working experience through either internship. Uh, at the bachelor level, students are required to be uh, required to be on uh, internship at the last, last, last bachelor one, bachelor two, and bachelor three level. Uh, and they also can go for internship at the master two level uh, at, the, at the end of the program. Uh, I want to talk a little more about the apprenticeship uh, track. Like I was saying, during the apprenticeship, the students signed up on a, a working contract with the company for the entire program. At the bachelor level, students sign up this apprenticeship. They go to class two days a week and they work three days a week for the entire program. At the master level, the scheme is a lot different. Students study uh, two weeks per month and then they go back to work for three, for three weeks for the entire program. The advantage is financial because students are uh, paid during the apprenticeship uh, program and they also have their the tuition fees are paid by the company, okay? So two advantage, they get paid monthly payments and they also have free tuition fees. Uh, we do have a signed up uh, agreement with uh, local companies, uh, our corporate office, uh, our corporate office will help you to find uh, either internship or, or apprenticeship with this signed up uh, partnership uh, in the local environment and also national environment. Uh, I will talk now about uh, the program we do offer. Uh, we do have two bachelor program. One is in French, bachelor in e-business and marketing. And we have another program in English, undergraduate program, bachelor in international management. Both programs are three-year program. And we do have an age limit of 26 years old, okay? Uh, at the master level, we do have a large array of uh, master program. Uh, we have the program Grand Ecole, which is also called the master in management. It's a two-year program taught in French, uh, and uh, English. We have the executive master in management uh, talked in um, French. And another program which could be interesting for you is the MSc, Master of Science in International Business, which is entirely uh, taught uh, in uh, English. The rest of the program, the specialized master in finance, master, specialized master in corporate uh, relation and master in logistics are taught in French, okay? 
So um, I'll be doing a little focus on our English top program, which could be an interest for you. The first one is the Bachelor in International Management, three-year program, uh, entirely taught in English. And we, too, we do have two intakes. One intake is in September and one intake is in January. So application open for next in, not January intake. Uh, students who have completed their high school degree are all eligible for this uh, program. And students who have completed one year or two years of higher education in this field of business management are also eligible for to go at the year two or year three directly. They don't have to start the program all over again. Okay. Uh, for we're looking for uh, the equivalent of 5.0 on the IELTS, and the tuition fees are 8,500 euro per year. And like I was saying, we do have a, a limit of 26 years old. Regarding the, excuse me, regarding the master program uh, uh, taught in English, we have the Master of Science in International Business. It's either a 15 month program or a 20 month program, depending on your background. It's entirely taught in English. And we also have two intakes, September and January intake. Uh, the tuition fees are 12,900 euro for the entire program. And we are looking for students who have uh, achieved a, a minimum level of 5.5 on the uh, IELTS, okay? Um, the strains, uh, this program provides a uh, double degree, means students will get two degree, one degree from Brest Business School, and they will also get the degree from Waterford Institute of Technology. Waterford Institute of Technology is a school of management located in Waterford Island, and students will actually go there for two weeks to take some final examination and get the degree from Waterford, okay? Uh, my, my presentation has come to an end. Uh, I don't know if you have any question. Okay. And once again, if you don't have any questions today, uh, I want to let you know that we are going to be uh, on the um, the platform to answer your questions. And if you want to have a private appointment with with us, with us, please go visit our our web page and uh, and schedule a private uh, appointment. Uh, I'm just uh, reading uh, Clarice. Uh, yep, yeah, it's true, Clarice. Um, we do, uh, Breast Business School has been uh, awarded the highest level of uh, Bienvenue, of, of the label Bienvenue uh, en, en France uh, two years ago which means we've been recognized in uh, welcoming our students properly. We do uh, actually organize pickups uh, at the airport and train station when students arrive. This is free of charge. We do also have an online platform for students to book uh, accommodation. And we do have actually an international office pretty nicely staffed to answer all questions. Uh, one more thing, uh, Breast Business School, um, like I was saying, is part of the Grand Ecole group of business schools. And we also one of the smallest in size. Uh, we do have about 600 students and about 50% of our uh, students are international students. So we do have about 300 international students studying at BBS. And those students come from about 45 different countries. So uh, mostly from Asia, sometimes also from uh, Europe and Africa. So you, if you come to Brazil, you will be sure, you, we make sure you get welcome properly, okay? Uh, 